Hubstaff versus Time Doctor. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be comparing Hubstaff and Time Doctor and seeing which one is better. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into it. So the first website that I'm going to be reviewing is Time Doctor. Now Time Doctor is a very popular website and almost and everyone who has ever worked as a freelancer or in a remote environment knows about time doctor because it's very simple like all you have to do is sign up and just simply with the push of a button you can start recording your time so the sign up process is very simple all you have to do is you all you have to do is just enter in your email address your name and your password and that is basically it so i'm gonna go ahead and sign in and i'll show you guys how it looks like so when you have signed in into time doctor this is how your dashboard is going to look like now granted yours is going to look a little bit different because everything is going to be zero i mean mine i've technically is four minutes but you know i only have one active user which is basically myself so as you add more users you're going to get more time you're going to have to manage more and stuff like that now and things can get hectic but time doctor makes everything really easy and time doctor makes everything very very easy so over here at the top in the dashboard you have two options you have team and user so, so if you are a user you can see your own stats and if you are part of a team uh, or you own the team basically you are the leader of the team you are managing the team team you will get this option right here so right now i'm over here in the team section over here and over here i can see all of the time that have been avid added by my team so if i had more users this would number would have been different and these numbers would have been different and then down below we can see all of the trends when they were active when they did most work and stuff like that and then over here we have the highest productivity time the user with the highest productivity time is going to be over here mine is only one user which is myself so of course it's that and then over here is going to be the highest unproductivity time it is going to show everyone everything over here so as you can see it's really simple it's really easy now if you're wondering how you can add more users well it's pretty simple over here at the top you have invite button over here simply click on invite and over here just type in the email address of, of the user you want to invite give them the access level that you want to give them and then you can manage other settings and then just simply click on send invite and this will allow them to join your group over here on time doctor and see how it looks like now you can use time doctor on either windows or mac os or linux or chrome but you can't use it on chromebooks which is one of the downside but that really doesn't matter because they have a chrome extension that you can install on your google chrome device and all you have to do is just simply click on that button and you can you know start recording your time as you can see over here your company has an enabled tracking from other apps with the time doctor 2 chrome extension so first we have to you know enable it over here in the settings option over here so and then we can you know use the chrome extension as well so it's pretty easy you don't have to worry about not using time doctor if you are a chromebook user and over here are going to be the screencasts so what that basically means is that all of the users when they have done their work after three or five minutes the time doctor is going to take a screenshot of the screen and it is going to show you everything over here that way you can see which user was doing what in that specific time frame so that you can see and you can monitor your team doing their work and not goofing around so uh, this is pretty good as well and then you have edit time as well now you can edit the time you can add time you can remove time you can delete them and all of the other and and stuff like that now you have the option of giving the users that ability or you can just keep it for yourself i recommend keeping it for yourself that way that it's that way that even if they you know started goofing around they wouldn't have the ability to delete their time so that way you can so that way you can judge them on your own so it's pretty simple so overall time doctor is a very great software it's really easy and i highly recommend it now let's go over to hubstaff now hubstaff is a pretty amazing tool it is not as known as time doctor because but because not a lot of people know about it because 
Now, HubSpot is a pretty amazing website and a very amazing tool to track time and manage your team, but not a lot of people know about it. And that's because it is mostly used for larger teams and stuff like that. For an individual, it's not for an individual. Most people don't know it. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in and I'll show you how it basically looks like. So over here, this is their dashboard of HubSpot. So everything is over here. So it's pretty cool. It's really easy. So lifetime doctor, this is going to be your main hub over here. And over here, you can basically see all of the time and projects and manage them accordingly. So over here, you're going to have work this week, spent this week and project work. And you can manage these widgets by clicking on this button over here, clicking by manage widget. And you can see all of the widgets over here. So we so we can choose members worked and work today like we can choose them and then we can have this week we have weekly limits we have client budgets and stuff like that so over here we can add more widgets as you can see and tracking time with it is pretty easy as well all you gotta do is click on this button over here track time just simply select a project that you want so let's go ahead and click on admin and then just simply add in a to do over here and then just simply click on this button over here. And as you can see, the time is being recorded and it's pretty cool as well. And they also have a desktop option as well. So let's go ahead and download the desktop version for Windows. So click on download over here, save it and wait a couple of seconds for it to open up. And once it's downloaded, click on yes and click on next click on next click on next and install it so wait a couple of seconds for the installation to complete and once it's completed click on next and click on finish and run the software so now all we got to do is sign in so i'm going to go ahead and sign in so over here click on get started click on next next and done so so this is how the hubsot application looks like so let me just pause this time over here stop it uh stop it and close it up and let's go over here and check the application out so over here as you can see it's pretty simple like all you gotta do is select the project right select let's just say the virtual assistant click on this project and as you can see the timer has been started and you can just simply choose whichever timer you want just simply sign in select the task that you want that you are about to do and then just simply click on start and it'll start tracking time it's really simple it's really easy and you can manage other projects over here by clicking on project management over here you can manage all of the other projects like you can manage the to do's the clients and so many many more now you can do that in time doctor so that is so you have to keep that in mind so it's pretty amazing as i said before it's really easy to use now if you're wondering how the time doctor application looks like so it's like like this so it looks like this okay it's pretty simple it's really it's unique as well so over here is going to be your time just simply click on start tracking your time and you'll start tracking your time so it's really easy and there is no project over here as you can see you don't you can't select the project what you can do is once you have signed in people will let you know if you're you if you want to use time doctor so they'll send you invitations of time doctors so all you gotta do is just simply accept the invite and then you'll have the option of choosing whichever option you want so right now it's currently my new account so that's why i don't have any other companies otherwise i could choose other accounts over here and then start tracking the time for them as well so as you can see over here both are very different both are very unique but essentially do the exact same thing and when it comes down to it the main preference of the choice is the ui so it depends upon which one you like better as compared to the other which one you think is much much more easier now before i tell you which one is which let me just go over their pricing plans real quick so that you guys can get a better idea of which software to use so for so for time doctor as you can see over here so the basic plan per user is seven dollars a month per user so that means that only one user can use time doctor and that is for seven dollars per month you guys can decide for whatever you want so in the basic plan you get to you get time tracking you get tasks and projects you get unlimited screenshots activity tracking three-day support one group slash department and one month and one month data storage so for the standard plan which is which is $10 per month per user, you get all of the other things and 
but you get track apps and URLs, payrolls, 65 plus integrations, 25, 24 hour support, and up to three groups slash departments and six months of data storage. And then you have premium month, which is $20 per user. Now, I do have to say that all of these prices are, pay, are per month. So if you want to pay annually, it changes. So for up for one user, it's $70 for, this, for the basic plan. For the standard one is $100 per user. For the premium one, it's $200 per user, per user. And we can change the prices as we go along. So as you can see, for five users, it's $350 annually and for and and for monthly is 35 dollars per per user per month so keep that in mind now when it comes now for hubspot on the other hand hubspot is hubspot is free for only for own for one user only so if you are so for if you are a single user you can go ahead and choose the time free so you can choose the time free option over here but options are both similar to are both similar to hubspot are both similar to time doc are both similar to time doctor the the starter pack is seven dollars and the pro pack is ten dollars and then we'll have enterprise basically you get all the bells and features and for the pricing you have to talk to them as well so it's pretty in, so it's pretty simple but the main difference is that in time starter you get unlimited is that you get unlimited payments and then in the pro section you get payments you get invoices you get payrolls client and project budget timesheets approval daily and weekly limits and many many more so so this one was for the time and then you have desk and field and many many other options as well so my recommendation is that if you are a single user and if you are a freelancer and you are looking for a software for free then i would suggest hubspot but if you are spending but if you do want to but if you do want to spend a little bit more money then i would could say that you would that then i would suggest time doctor is better for you but if you're a larger company and you are willing to spend more money then hubstaff is best for you then Hubstaff is best for you because it is much much more versatile. It ha it has more options and it's and it has more option and it can be used to manage your team as well. So that is it. And so that is my opinion. The rest depends upon you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on post notification. And having said that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.